am I about to melt the door? Hang on, is it? Yeah, it stopped raining, finally, blimey. Seriously, it's felt like it's rained solidly for two weeks. And today I'm gonna to be cracking on with the old smart car. Remember, I've been entrusted with this car to get it flipped and get the best dollar for it. Is it starting raining again? Probably. So, in today's episode, I'm going to be removing all that jubbins. I believe they call it stickers. Decals? Graphics? Sponsors? Whichever you want to call it. All that has got to come up. But before we get cracking on the old smart wagon, let's, uh, let's have a quick update. Wimpy wagons just sat there doing nothing. I did do the proper fitment on the front bumper on the Mark II GT. Uh, I've received a down payment deposit for the Wimperstang. Is that about to go? I think it is. I think the deal has been done. More on that soon. And currently, the 7.5 GTI, well, that's in an auction. Fingers crossed. So, all that being said, have I already started looking for the Wimpy Stang's replacement build? Of course I have. I'll throw up a few ideas at the end. Right, okay, so back onto the old Smartmobile. Okay, so this car is, well, covered in, yeah, stickers. And uh, it's the really annoying ones because it's not obviously big, one big one that can just rip off like a vinyl wrap. They're all individual letters. Obviously the whole idea of them is they don't come off. I'm trying to think, can I spell, can I leave the letters on and spell something rude? Hang on. No. Let's talk about getting the stickers off first then. Usually the tactic is when you're removing any that's a vinyl wrap or stickers, the easy one is to stick it out in the sun and wait for the, obviously the body panels and the stickers to heat up. That way it sort of supples the glue and then it can kind of peel off a bit easier. So as we've got no sunshine, we're gonna to have to add heat to these using power tools. Yeah. Ah, ah. Yeah, this power tool, just a heat gun. Now let's have a let's do a test run, shall we, and see how we get on. Now, something to bear in mind is that's plastic. Do you see what I mean? Heat gun versus plastic door. Am I about to melt the door? Mm, it's not even my car. Right, so I'm going to be delicate then. Okay, easy, easy go. We're going to go setting one, not max. Uh, that's plastic. That's metal. So number two for metal, number one for plastic. Right, let's have a go. Ha! <laughs> yes! Yeah, it does leave a uh, sort of a... Uh, a surrounding of glue around the actual letter itself, but hopefully I'll have a good little trick up my sleeve that I can show you for that. So effectively then, I've got to do that now another, probably about 200 times. I guess this calls for a major time lapse and some beats and yeah, let's see how, let's see how long it actually takes me to get these off, if it doesn't start raining again. I'm gonna get my headphones. Let's go. That took about 25 minutes, 20 minutes, so... I've got some work to do, no more time lapses. Uh, how's about we do it a bit faster this time? Boom! <laughs> well, there you go. That was pretty tedious, painful. All the stickers off the car, they seem to, yeah. They're on me now. I did manage to get them off without melting any panels. So that's a plus point. So I'm going to get these off and then I'm going to try and find the Dietz nail varnish remover and have a look at getting the, uh, getting the glue off. 
and do it. Okay, so I've been and raided the Deets uh, makeup cabinet and got the old uh, nail varnish remover. I really do recommend it. If you're removing any masking tape, you've done some painting or anything, rob your missus's nail varnish remover. But don't use too much, because then you don't even have to tell her. I'm actually going to bosh this whole bottle down, so I'm probably going to get in trouble. So now it's the case of attacking all that remaining glue that's on the plastic paint, whatever. And uh, yeah, we're going to whip that off nice and easy. I've done a little test run at the back. Now I recommend you do the same. Just be aware that this stuff, or certainly solvents, obviously can tarnish the shine off a of plastic or can obviously just melt it straight out right. So you have been warned. Guzzle it onto a little rag and off we go. Okay, so I've been around the whole car. There's only a tiny bit left. I think I might get caught on this one. Shh. Well, I'm actually quite impressed with how it's actually pretty hard to see where the letters have been. And that's maybe due to the fact that obviously it's got this weird plasticky, it's the weird plasticky stuff and not normal paint. Hmm. Yeah, look, it's looking pretty good. Now, if you were to do this usually on a car, once you remove the sort of publicity or the graphics, you would have to then renovate the paint completely, probably starting off, I'd say worst case scenario, giving it a good wet sand with a really fine grit paper and then fully polishing out the panel so all the paint is kind of at the same level. Now, I've kind of gotten away with it a bit, being this car being plastic, and yeah, I wasn't expecting that, so that's a plus point. I'm gonna give it a quick polish and yeah, we should be wrapped up. Ru unwrapped, unwrapped. The outside should be done. actually came out kind of way better than I thought. I was a bit nervous because I've seen that perhaps you can maybe use a special plastic polish for these cars. And typically me, I just thought I'd just roll with what I've got. A Meguiar's, uh, I don't know, it's in French, a finishing polish, I think. And uh, yeah, really, it looks great. I can't see any, I can't see anything from the old letters. Back as good as new. Well, well that's the paint, plastic, whatever you want to call it. That's it, job done. Happy with the results. Good stuff. Boom, well on cue, well it started raining again and yeah, as much as I was hoping to give the wheels a quick renovate today, I think that's gonna be put on hold. And to be honest, the whole point was obviously to get this car looking as if it had no sponsorship on it whatsoever and I think I think we did it. Getting the wheels renovated and this car's ready to flip early next week on the market. Easy. Yeah, so let's quickly talk wimpy stain replacements then because I've been thinking of like fast coupes, you know what I mean? Perhaps an Audi RS5. To be honest, like I say, guarding wimpy stain replacements, let me know what you guys want to see because effectively that's what I want to build. So let me know in the comments what you think. But until next time guys, look after yourselves, stay safe, and I'll see you very soon. Very soon. And uh, yeah, hopefully, wish me luck, Eddie doesn't figure out that I've used up all her nail varnish remover. Yeah. <laughs> Leaders. <laughs>